Now the first step is to restart your computer. Simply restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game. Still not working. Try DX11 in the launch option. Make a right in this game. Select properties. In the launch option type in dash DX11. Now you can close this. Launch the game and then check. Do not try DX12 or D3, D12 or D3, D11. Try only dash DX11 and then check. Still not working. You can remove this. Follow the next step. Now the next step is to run the game from the game installation folder. Now for this make a right click on the game. Select manage click on browse local files. And then over here you can see the game exe file. Make a double click. Run the game from here. If that does not work open this folder. Binary is win64. Sorry win64. And then you can make a double click. Launch the game from here and then check. If that does not work make a right click. Go to properties. Go to this tab. Put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator. Hit apply. Click on OK. Launch the game and then check. Still not working. Go to properties. This time you can try Windows 8 over here. Hit apply. Click on OK. Launch the game. You can even try Windows 7 over here. Hit apply. Click on OK. Launch the game. You can even try disable full screen optimization. Hit apply. Click on OK. Launch the game and then check. Now when you put a check on all these boxes still not working. You can uncheck these boxes. Hit apply. Click on OK. And then go back and make a right click on this exe file. Click on run as administrator and then check. Still not working. The next step is to allow the game exe file to antivirus program. If you are using Windows security, open Windows security, privacy and security, Windows security, virus and threat protection. Scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection. Click on it. Click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow. Click on add an allowed app browser apps. Now go to the game installation folder wherever the game is installed. If the game is installed in C drive, open C drive program file 686. Open the Steam folder. Open the Steam apps folder. Open the common folder. Open the game folder. Select the game exe file. We're going to open. Again, add an allow app, browse all apps. And then open this folder. Binaries win64. Sorry. And then select this exe file. We're going to open. Now type in control panel in Windows search box and then click on control panel. System and security, Windows Defender Firewall. Allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Click on change settings. Allow another app. Click on browse. Go to the game installation folder once again and then open the game folder. Select the game exe file over here and then click on open. Click on add. In my case, it is already added. Allow another app once again. Browse. Open this folder. And then select this exe file. Click on open. And then click on add. Once the game is added, we will now launch the game. Still not working. The next step is to rename the config folder. When you rename the config folder, all the saved settings will be lost. To rename the config folder, go to this PC, open C drive users folder open your username folder open app data if you don't see app data at the top click on view select show put a check on hidden items open app data folder local folder and then open the game folder over here sorry open this folder this one saved and here you can see config folder make a right click rename it and then you can rename or delete it and then relaunch the game and then check still not working in that case rename the save game files now when you rename the save game files before you rename it create a backup first because all the save game progress will be lost you have to start everything from scratch so if you agree you can go back and go to this location and then here make a right click on this game folder rename it before you rename it copy this and maybe create put it to desktop once you have a backup created now you can make a right click and then you can rename it and now you can relaunch the game and then check still not working the next step is to skip this step if you're not able to launch the game but if you're able to launch the game avoid using alt tab do not use alt tab while playing the game try window mode and lower down video settings you can also turn off fsr and then check so once you launch the game uh, you can go to settings and then go to video now you can switch to window mode. So in my case, it's already Windows. I will try window mode and lower down resolution. If this is set to 4K, you can try 1920 into 1080p. You can even lower down more. You can lock, lock the FPS. So you can try 60 maybe 
and you can try both you can try basing on or off and then scroll down over here you can see fsr you can try try to turn off fsr and then check hit apply whenever you make changes hit apply and then check the performance now the next step is to verify the game files now for this you can go to steam make a right the game select properties go to install files tab click on verify integrity of game files once the verification is 100% complete, launch the game and then check. Still not working. Perform clean installation of your graphics card driver. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. Select your graphic card from the list. Make sure that you select your graphic card, your operating system over here. And then click on search. On this page, you will see the latest GeForce Game Ready Driver. Whichever is the latest GeForce Game Ready Driver, click on view. And then click on download over here. And once the download is complete, you can run this exe file. And then once you run the exe file, uh, click on yes to allow, click on ok, click on agree and continue, select custom option, click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation. Make sure that you put a check over here and once it is done, restart your computer and then check. Similarly, if you have AMD card, you can go to AMD website, do the same thing. Select your graphic card, make sure that you select your graphic card over here. This is just an example, I don't have AMD graphic card. So select your graphic card, your operating system and whichever is the latest graphic card driver you can download it install it restart your computer and then check next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box click on graphic settings click on add desktop app go to the game installation folder open the game folder and then open this folder binaries win uh, sorry win64 select this exe file click on add once the game is added over here find the game in the list once you find the game, click on the game, select high performance. You will see your graphic card now launch the game. Desktop users, make sure that you connect your SDMI or display cable to the dedicated graphic card slot, not the motherboard slot. Next step is to install Visual C++ file. Now for this, you can open this link in a browser. The link is provided in the video description. Scroll down. Here you can see x86 and x64 file. You have to download these both files. Click on it and then run this exe file. Now, if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install button, hit install. You might see repair option as well. So click on repair. Download this x64 file as well. And then run this exe file. Again, if you see repair option, click on repair. If you see the install option, hit install. Click on yes to allow. And let the installation complete. Once both are installed, then restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to try power saver mode. Now for this, Type in control panel in Windows search box. Click on control panel. Go to hardware and sound. Go to power options. And over here, in my case, I have only balanced. But if you see power saver like this, you can select power saver, relaunch the game, and then check. You can even try balanced or high performance. But first of all, try power saver and then check. Enable or disable hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Now for this, type in graphics settings in Windows search box. Click on graphics settings over here. Click on add desktop app go to the game installation folder and then select the game exe file sorry click on advanced graphics settings over here if hardware accelerated gpu scheduling if this is off you can turn it on and then relaunch the game and then check if it is already on turn it off relaunch the game and then check next step is to disable integrated graphic card driver uh, graphic card now for this make a right in the start menu go to device manager expand display adapter if your computer has a dual graphic card like i have one is intel another is nvidia so you can disable the integrated graphic card make a right click and then click on disable device relaunch the game and then check if you face any problem or once you're done playing the game you can come back and enable the device once again next is to uh, delete direct x shader cache now for this type in disk cleanup in windows search box click on disk cleanup over here and then Make sure this is checked. Direct accelerator cache. If this is unchecked, put a check. Put a check on everything over here. And then click on OK. Delete files. These are temporary files. Delete it. Restart your computer and then launch the game. Also install DirectX. Now for this, you can go to Microsoft website, download it. And then run this exe file. Click on yes to allow. Accept. And then next, uncheck install Bing bar. And then click on next. Let the installation complete. Once done, restart your computer and then you can check. Still not working. The next step is to try debug mode. Now for this, you can go to desktop, make a right click, show more option, NVIDIA control panel. 
go to help and then put a check on debug mode once there is a check on debug mode now relaunch the game if that does not work restore nvidia control panel settings so go to manage 3d settings go to global settings restore click on yes at the bottom right you will see the apply option hit apply and then you can launch the game and then you can check next step is to now lower down monitor refresh rate suppose your monitor refresh rate is 240 hertz you can try 120 or 60 hertz and then check next step is to increase the virtual memory to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in window search box and then click on view advanced system settings over here and then under advanced click on settings the first setting and then click on advanced tab and then click on change over here you have to uncheck the box and then you have to select the drive where the game is installed make sure that you select the drive where the game is installed and then select custom size and we, for initial size is 1.5 multiplied total ram for maximum is 3 multiplied total ram so you can check total ram in windows settings go to system and then go to about option and over here you can see in my case it's 16 gigabytes so you have to calculate as per your ram and if you face any problem we can always revert back to the settings so do not worry about it so for in my case it's 16 gigabyte multiplied 1024 that is total total RAM in megabyte for initial size it's 1.5 multiplied 1.5 that is 24576 for maximum size it's total RAM that is 16 multiplied 1024 in my case 16384 me megabyte then three times multiplied three that is for maximum size it's 49152 in my case and then you have to click on set set is important make sure that it hit set and then click on ok and then ok ok now relaunch the game and then check if that does not work then type in view advanced system settings again and then click on view advanced system settings go to settings over here click on change uh, advanced tab and then click on change and then select system manage size this time and then click on set set is important click on ok click on ok over here hit apply click on OK, OK, you will see restart option, restart your computer and then check. Still not working, we will revert to default so you can type in view advanced system settings once again, settings, advanced, change and put a check on this box and then hit apply, click on OK, follow the next step. Still not working, the next step is to unplug all the external devices like if you have OTAS, wheel, pedals, any kind of external keyboard and mouse which you are not using like key chrome keyboard, razor and cement keyboard, you can disconnect it. Razor tartars, disconnect it, disconnect USB adapter. If any kind of uh, USB adapter, dongle connected, disconnect it. Dis disconnect controller connected to the computer. This uh, Right now the controller is not supported with the game I think. Disconnect multiple monitor, try launching the game on single monitor. Uh, if you have any third party application or services running, close it and then relaunch the game. Disable Steam overlay. Now for this you can go to Steam, make a right on the game, select properties, turn off the option which says enable the Steam overlay while in game. And check if, the, if that is already disabled, you can enable it and then check. Close all overlay application. Like if you have Discord running, go to Discord settings, turn off overlay. If you have Nvidia app running, you can go to Nvidia app settings. Go to settings over here and then uh, you can turn off this nvidia overlay and then check and then close nvidia app Cl uh, do not overclock you can set it to default if you have any overclocking application running like msi after winner rebar tuner you can close it if you have undervolted your computer remove the undervolt and then check next step is to update windows now for this open windows settings go to windows update or update and security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart your computer. After the system restart, you can launch the game. Still not working, update the BIOS. So go to your system manufacturer website, select your model number and then update the BIOS. In case of laptop, make sure battery is more than 10% and the AC adapter, the charger is connected to the computer when you update the BIOS. The last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives. So if nothing is working, uninstall the game and then install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to D drive or E drive or any external drive, Try to install the game to C drive and then check. If the game is al was already installed to C drive, try installing the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on your Windows computer. 
सो दाल बी ऑल थैंक यू सो मच फॉर योर टाइम एंड प्लीज लाइक दिस वीडियो एंड सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल